Hi guys, welcome back to Get Your Play Online. My name is Mackenzie and today we are going to be making these super cool season sensory bottles. So I have a winter one, a spring one, a summer one, and a fall one. So what you're going to need for these for your winter one you are going to need a water bottle that is about three quarters of the way full and um, you're going to need some white or iridescent glitter i have two kinds right here i have found that the bigger the glitter you have the better this will come out and then super optional but i found some really cute snowflakes and um, just some foil ones i think i found these on amazon so that's all you need for your winter one. For your summer one, you're going to need a completely empty water bottle, some water beads. I have mine already enlarged. Um, mine have been sitting out for about eight hours um, just to make sure that they are as big as they can be. So you need that. And you're going to need some yellow pom-poms. I found that these tinsel ones work the best because they float better. And then some cotton balls. And that's all you'll need for that one. For your fall one, you're gonna need some, you're gonna need a water bottle that's a little full. Um, mine are all about three quarters of the way full, except for the empty one. Some baby oil. And then red glitter gold glitter, and I didn't have any orange glitter at my house, but I did have orange sequins, so I have those. And then totally optional, I have some gold sequins, some red sequins, and I have these really cute foil leaves. And that's all you need for fall. Let's set that aside. And then for your um, spring one. You are going to need some blue and silver glitter. And then you're gonna need some white pom-poms. Like I said, the tinsel, whoops, the tinsel ones work best. Um, they float a little bit better just because they have these little tinsel, tinsel plastic pieces and that helps them float. All right, so let's get started. I think the first one that we're gonna do since I have it, since I have the supplies out, is just we're gonna do the um, spring one. So since we're using glitter, I am going to use just a regular plastic bag that I got from the store, just to make sure I catch all the glitter and don't make a super huge mess. So, First, we're going to open it. I have mine this full. Um, also, I forgot to say, I'm using core water bottles. Um, water bottles that have, you know, this straight up and down where, like, the cap connects to the water bottle are best. They say shut the best. Um, and then mine have a wider mouthpiece. And it just makes it a little bit easier to get all of your... Um, glitter and all of your supplies in your water bottle. You can definitely use whatever water bottle you want to, any will work. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour some of our silver glitter in to our spring one. Now this one you're gonna want quite a bit of glitter in there. I have quite a bit. And this one, I'm going to shut this glitter. Just make sure it doesn't go everywhere and set that to the side. And then I'm going to grab my blue glitter. I'm going to be really, really careful and pour a bunch of this blue glitter in. I also have 
some blue sequins I found at my house. Um, and we're just going to open those. And I'm just going to put a few of these in. This is completely optional. Um, so don't feel like you have to put these in there. And then we are going to put some clear glue into this. You're really going to want clear glue instead of um, white glue because the clear glue will make it clear like this. See how it's super clear and you can see all of the sequins. If you use white glue, you're going to get a little bit clatter like this. So, we're going to put some clear glue in here. You're going to want quite a bit. The clear glue helps the glitter not stick to the sides. Um, and then it just helps your glitter to kind of fall down. So it should look something like that. Just like that. And then we're going to take our pom-poms and we are just going to put them in the top. And these are our clouds. Put as many as you want. I think I have six in mine. There you have your summer one or your spring one. Look at all the rain. So next we are going to do our winter one. So we're going to take another water bottle and um, about three quarters of the way full. Just like that. And um, I take some of our glitter. Now be really, really careful when you're pouring in this glitter because you don't want to get it all over your mom and dad's table or all over the floor, wherever you're making this at. Um, and if you do make a mess, make sure to clean it up. So you're just gonna pour. This one, you're going to need a lot because this one is our Chanel. I poured a lot of that one in there. And I'm also going to pour this one in here too. I just spilled a little bit of glitter and so that's why we want to make sure we're doing this over a bag and then completely optional but you can put some sequins in there some sunflower or some snowflake sequins just take it with your hands just put them in there just like that I think I'm going to put a few more in. Put some in. And then really important because we have some glitter in here is we're going to want to put some clear glue in there. And don't be shy with your clear glue. Um, you want quite a bit. We're going to screw this on really tight, and all you got to do is shake it. And then you're going to shake it to get all the glue, kind of coating the glitter just to make sure it doesn't stick to the sides. And now you have a cool uh, winter sensory bottle, just like that. Super cool, huh? So next, we are going to take another water bottle about this full, place it over our bag, and then the first thing that we're going to do to this one is we're going to take some baby oil. You don't need very much, just a little bit. Just 
show you. See, I do not have very much in here. You see where it kind of separates? Up top, this is my baby oil. So I have just a little bit in. And then I'm going to take my red. Pour some red in here, be super careful. And then I'm gonna take some gold, put some gold in here. This is our fall one. Just a little bit. I'm gonna take our orange sequins or you can use your orange glitter. Pour them in. Let me show you what it looks like now. So this, if you choose not to um, oops, shake it up a little bit, if you get some clumps of glitter, all you got to do is just shake it. There is that. So this stuff is completely optional, but I think it really, really adds to the um, bottle is we're just going to pour some leaves into there. I think it makes it look super fun and um, I think it just kind of helps to add a little bit of the fall aspect to it. So I'm going to put quite a few leaves in here. Drop some so I'm going to pick them up put them in just like that what is your guys's favorite season i think my favorite season um is a tie between summer and fall um i really like summer because it's really warm and i can go fishing and i can just hang out with my friends and stuff like that but i also love fall because i love wearing sweaters um I think it's super warm and super cozy. So drop a comment below and tell us what your favorite season is. I'm going to mix this up. If you see that you have some glitter sticking, like I have some with mine, all you got to do is open up your water bottle. Just add some of your clear glue. But the reason that we use baby oil for this one instead of the clear glue is because we want it to look like the leaves are falling. And so the baby oil helps the leaves to stay near the top instead of all sinking down to the bottom like these ones do. See, there's a big difference. So now all we're going to do is just shake it up. Just like that. And there is your fall one. So cool, guys. And then as the baby oil um, comes to the top, so should your glitter. And then the last one that we're going to make is we're going to make our summer one. So for this one, you're going to need a completely empty water bottle. Um, because we already have water in our water beads, that's what's going to go in here. So for this one, remember we're going to need some water beads. I have blue. I think that works the best. Since we're making a clear blue, or since we're making a blue sky. I have some cotton balls. And I have some yellow pom-poms. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our water beads. And I have a little scoop. You can use a spoon. I have an eighth cup scoop. Um, and we're just going to be super careful and not fill it too high. And get all of that water, all of those water beads in here. Be super careful to make sure that all of your scoop goes into your water bottle. Okay. 
I find it's a little bit easier if I kind of pick up my water bottle and kind of tilt it a little bit. Just like that. Going like that. So we're going to fill this about halfway. Whoops. I'm going to grab the ones that fell out. Just be careful putting these in. Starting to fill up. Whoops. It's okay if they spill out. If you don't like using a, a scoop, you can always use your hands too. That's totally okay. Sometimes using your fingers is a little bit easier. about a fourth of the way filled. Um, if you are having a little bit of, if you are struggling a little bit to put your water beads in, um, you can always ask your mom if she has a funnel um, and that may help you a little bit if you have one of those. Okay, I'm gonna do just a little bit more. Just like that. So, because we aren't filling this all the way up to the top, this is about our halfway mark. Because if you see, it's about even. Because we're only gonna fill it up to where it starts to come up to the cap. Okay, so now what you're gonna do um, is fluff out your cotton ball so it looks kind of like that. And then just help it go down in there by just shaking it. I think I'm going to do four cotton balls. It's okay if they rip a little bit, it makes it a lot fluffier. Um, if you have a little stick or something, it may make it a little bit easier to get your cotton down in there. I'm going to put one more. Maybe two, we'll see. We'll see how fluffy I can get this one. Like that, and push it in. And you've got something that looks like that. And then we're gonna go back to our water beads. Pour some more water beads in there. A few too many in my scoop. Should be going right on top. You're gonna let it get a little full. See, that's what it should start to look like. And then we're gonna put a few more clouds in there. Um, 
If you don't like ripping them, you can always unroll them just like that and stretch them out that way. That's a little bit easier for you. Just like that. And then I think I did three. Squish it down in there a little bit. Then we're gonna take our sen. We're just gonna put it right at the top, kind of towards the outside. That one's done. There is your sunny day. Um, you can either leave them closed like this, um, or let me plug in my hot glue gun a second. It does not take very long to heat up. Um, if you're going to be using a hot glue gun, make sure you ask mom or dad um, because they may want to help you. Um, if you're not super comfortable using a hot glue gun, let me just set this up. Um, you can take some duct tape and just tape it. I'll show you how to do it with, we can use our um, autumn one. Just measure out how much you need. I have some glitter duct tape, so that's super fun. So I just measured it. Just like that. Just smush it on there. Not sure. Duct tape. I'll show you how to do hot glue with, I think, our winter one. So all you're going to do is you're going to take the cap off. Let's see. Is my hot glue ready yet? Not yet. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to take the... Um, uh, top off your water bottle and you're just going to not quite ready yet and you're just going to put some glue in your little seal just like that we'll wait for it to heat up just give it a few minutes um or just give it a few seconds it's a pretty fast one um always when you are using any kind of hot tools or any kind of scissors Make sure that you are asking mom and dad if you need help or if you are one of our younger viewers because the last thing that we want is for you to get hurt during one of our activities. Um, so always make sure that you are being safe um, and using your scissors and your hot glue. This is almost ready. And then I'll show you how to hot glue. So what are your guys' favorite season activities for each season? Um, I think my favorite season activity in the summer is either going fishing or going swimming. Um, leave a comment down below what your favorite thing to do in each season is. Um, in the fall, I really like going for walks because it's kind of chilly but not too chilly. Um, and then in the winter, I love making snowmen or going sledding. That's my favorite thing to do. And then in the spring, when it's rainy, I really love to sit um, beside my big window at home and just look outside and just see the rain um, and maybe read or watch a movie or something like that when it's raining outside. Um, if it's a really nice day outside, I love to just go sit outside and just um, enjoy nature or go on a hike or something like that. So leave a comment below what your favorite thing to do. And this is ready. So show you like this, just on the very inside of the cap. 
and you're going to want a lot. Make sure you're being super, super careful. So then make sure you lay your glue gun down on something because it's super hot. And I have quite a bit of glue in here. And then just screw that on. That is it. You should be all ready to go. All right, guys. I had so much fun making these with you, and I cannot wait to see what yours looks like. Make sure to leave a comment below if you make this and uh, share us your pictures. We love seeing when you do these activities with us, and we hope to see you in a few hours when uh, we do our next activity. All right. Bye, guys.